Greetings, little viewer, goons, gangsters, and gamers. It's your boy, The Good Tonight. Today we're doing a review on the EOTech G45 magnifier. So, picked this up in uh, October-ish of last year, 2021. And, uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool upgrade from the earlier G33 I got running on the rifle right now. Of course, when I picked this up, Unity had not yet announced that they were making the riser for it, but pretty much everyone... Everyone and their mother knew it was on the way, so... I picked this up knowing it would be showing up at some point. And just recently at the latest SHOT Show they did, they were talking about it. With their, uh, was it the Omni, I think they're calling it? Which can mount practically everything for magnifiers to be used with uh, EOTech. Now this one didn't work with the G33 because the, was it the objective lens here up on the front? is significantly wider than the uh, smaller little thing the G33 had working for it. So of course you got 5x zoom versus the earlier 3x. Now with the uh, key features, what we're going to be talking about is the, um, what we got, the eye relief. It's, um, you can get a little bit further back, which is cool. But as far as like the angle of how much like leeway you have to get that perfect uh, image and everything going on, it's a bit more strict and most likely that's due to the uh, magnification. As far as the clarity, the clarity is still just stupid crystal clear and it's um if there's something better i don't have eyes fantastic enough to see it of course i've also had like lasik and stuff and corrective eye surgery so there's probably some people who can tell you but for practical intents and purposes it's crystal clear so of course it has your like average weight to it i think it weighs about the same as the g33 they did also make the g43 which is the G33 with, again, larger objective lens and uh, lighter weight. So, this guy's pretty cool. You got your standard adjustment on the back here so you can make sure you got the right, uh, what's it called, focus and stuff for your eye so you get a clean picture as your eye adjusts through it. Um, as far as things up really close, where you should be using a magnifier anyway, it's a lot more difficult to see with this than the G33. Shouldn't be an issue. Being able to see 5X versus 3X, for some people, it's a lot bigger of a deal. You're going to be able to see further out, get a bit more detailed information about what you're looking at, and most importantly, making sure that if you are getting ready to pull the trigger, it's either a paper target or a bad guy, and not uh, one of your buddies who's just, like, really far up there for some reason, and he's having communication issues. So this comes on the standard flip to side part there, much like the G33 before it did, and uh, with the Unity Riser coming out, it's going to be pretty fantastic. So the only reason this hasn't been like mounted or really used too much in general by me is because it's not on that Unity riser yet and that makes a huge difference when you got the Air Pro and all the cool stuff going on. So now the G33 being out for quite a bit it didn't take too long for uh, various uh, companies and stuff to make like lens protectors and stuff going on for that guy. So of course that flip to center pop-up is really really legit. But actually let me uh can I pop this off? Or is it like, I put it on with a stupid tight force, didn't I? I did. So, oh boy. Pre-planning! This is why you guys should uh, either prepare in advance, like I should normally do, or uh, hire an editor. But yeah, anyway. Actually, I think it's easier to just pop off the actual red dot. You know, the holographic sight, I should say, give you a look there. So, as you can see... You got the smaller lens up here, smaller objective lens. So it actually has a little bit of pop up there to make everything work. So they came out with uh, lens protectors for these relatively quickly. I'm assuming the G45 is still on the way. Um, yeah, this one doesn't have as many cool markings, does it? No, yeah, Eotech's definitely got a, a lot more. I like how they left the uh, spot on the side so you can still get to that uh, QR code. So neat. So yeah, you know, he's got their new riser coming out. So this one will be able to sit underneath everything, and when I need it, I can just pop it up. So uh, yeah, it's a lot easier to, um, that was the other cool thing. So with the Unity on the, uh, was it the 12 inch rail or whatever I'm running here? Yeah, I think the 12 inch uh, wrist two from Daniel Defense is that with the 3X, you can definitely see lasers and everything up on the front. With the 5X, you're gonna be able to see right over that. Now, of course, one of the other things you could do is you could just mount the magnifier up here, move the, uh, holographic sight up for it a bit, but um, that's a lot of work. It still has to flip to the side, so I'm just gonna, just gonna wait for the uh, unity mount to come out. So not too much. As far as the pictures go, I will have my editor go ahead and post those up. So as long as she's editing, 
right here, you'll have the um, view of the backpack with just the one X. And uh, if we flip over to G33, get a bit of a closer view, you can see the uh, the Donut of Death by EOTag doesn't change all that much. And um, if we go to the last slide, you got the um, 5X zoomed in on the backpack again. Donut ratio is relatively the same. Taking these pictures was a huge pain. It was a two-man effort, so that's why I'm doing this. Because trying to film all this stuff through a camera like I showed you guys earlier, huge pain. So also looking out towards the uh, bridge and stuff, you got the 1X, so no magnifier. The 3X with the magnifier, this is not the same picture. It was a huge enough pain to take the photos to begin with. And then 5X, looking out at everything else. So, back to me. We've got our, yes, yeah, so you can see it's got a really clean image. Everything's really nice. Being able to see it a little bit further and read that little bit of finer detail and stuff going on out there. It's just really, really cool. How does the reverse work? Does it still do the reverse thing? Yeah, look how far away it is. Oh no. But yeah, so key takeaways, far more strict on the uh, angle to the eye to get a clean image. Uh, better eye relief can be seen farther away without the image like tunneling in and getting all those dark spots. This is an official title for him. I don't remember what it is. I'm only semi-professional, okay? I'm not fully professional. Though if I was, I would have my editor go look up what that, uh, when you're too close to a scope, what the darkness on the side is called. And she could totally put that in there as a little subtitle. That'd be really cool. <laughs> and yeah, so that's all the, um, the, that's really the key takeaway. So when the Unity mount comes out, because they basically have it wider and it could accommodate more optics for their wider objective lenses. That's going to be really cool. I don't think we're going to particularly do a video on that, but um, yeah. So I did mention with the G33, you've got the freaking uh, lens protectors and stuff. As you might notice, much like the G33, we've also got a threaded uh, interior here with all of our lenses and stuff. So if you were curious as to what this one was, I took this guy and I jammed him in here. I like up against the threads on the sides there, and it is 31.3. So that 0.3 is probably not going to be as significant. So if you get a 31 millimeter lens protector or kill flash or anything particularly you want to throw on there, that should, should, should fit. Not 100%, should fit. Because I found a bunch of 30 millimeter lens protectors and stuff that, well, they fit in there, but they don't. The threads don't meet up. And of course, in the next closest that I could find, there wasn't a 32 or a 31, but there was a 33. It's like, oh, that's neat. We could pick up this cool, very uh, cheap, generic 33 millimeter kill flash, and that basically is flush against everything in there. So yeah, that, uh, that didn't work so well. But the, uh, the concept's there. Um, but yeah, ultimately what I would say is that as things start to trickle down to all the cool airsoft kits, then the uh, companies are going to actually get out there and definitely get like a lens protector. Not so much an issue, IRL, but you know, having the extra dust debris protection at the cost of a little bit of clarity, not a big issue, but having it for, uh, for all the kids who are 110% going to run these exclusively for airsoft, then uh, yeah, not getting your uh, lens knocked in with a BB or being dumb and tripping over your rifle and smacking into some rocks. I've seen it. I've seen it. It's, uh, having a little bit of protection against that is never a terrible idea. So yeah, that's, um, that's all I got for you guys. That's pretty much the entirety of the review unless you want to look at the, uh, I guess, same really beefy rubber rubberized protector up here. Got your turrets. Actually, I think they upgraded the turrets quite a bit, didn't they? Yeah, they did. Look at that. So don't you talk back to me. So the turrets actually have this little um, indention here with that little hex screw, but they work. Actually, these are they're a lot nicer. So lower profile, they don't have the big uh, screw top up on up there that you normally like uh, adjust. So they're a little bit lower profile, and uh, yeah, turn right to adjust that way. So that's all you're adjusting to make sure you get your uh, holographic donut of death or red dot or sight of your choosing. To work there. Apparently my buddy picked up uh, some prism sights and uh, yeah apparently those don't work well with magnifiers as he discovered. So everything but a prism sight <laughs> apparently. Just about. I don't know. Prism sights I haven't read too much about them. Apparently they're just really freaking weird. 
But yeah, so EOTech G45, would I recommend picking one up? I mean, yeah, it's a pretty solid idea. If you need magnification, you're not going to get the low-powered variable optics where you're going to be able to like adjust, zoom in with that little crank and have all the little lines to adjust you for windage and stuff. So you're going to be doing a lot of uh, more Kentucky windage stuff going on. If you're using a holographic site, they're probably more focused on close quarters, uh, close quarters uh, combat sort of ordeal and uh, being able to shoot out to a distance with relative decent guesstimation accuracy. Whereas with the actual LPVOs and everything, you're going to be like, okay, drop down to that fourth tick there. And then with the wind going on, we're going to slide over that way. So yeah, more guesstimation accuracy, but you got to do what you got to do. The big reason I even like the uh, magnifier with the holographic sight combination is because you got that unlimited eye relief of almost any angle with the holographic. And when you do need to make those really pristine shots, you just click that in and you get that zoom. You get your eye just in the right position and you are like, I don't know, freaking SOCOM sniper, whatever, nomenclature. I had a sniper joke lined up and of course I lost it. Because I'm not caffeinated as much as I need to be. But yeah, ultimately, it's hefty, it's chonky, it looks good, and I love it very, very much. And I'll probably love it more when I get to uh, actually use it. And I'll probably love it even more after that when I go to visit my buddy's farm in the States. Where I can move everything over to uh, the real pew pew and get some of the good stuff in. At which point, it would probably make sense to do another review to see how it holds up there. But as far as what I got to work with here, it's, uh, it's solid. It's EOTech. It's um, tried and proven, and uh, yeah, we're not going to talk about the uh, thermal drift they used to have on their uh, optics, because that was many, many years ago. Stop living in the past, man. It's okay now. <laughs> so, okay, I'm done. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep ranting to artificially lengthening the video. So, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, probably plenty of concerns. You might well, leave out the concerns about me. Just stick to the concerns about the uh, product in detail. Also. As always, purchased out of pocket, not given to me as a super hip niche review guy. It's completely purchased by me for uh, my own purposes, so not endorsed by EOTech. But given EOTech the endorsement, so there you go. Cheers, stay chill voice, and uh, with any luck, my editor will get this video well edited and make me sound a bit more smarter. So, cheers everyone, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.